There is a supernatural mystery that's been looming over Central Texas for years. Some people claim there's a witch's castle at Cameron Park, but is it real? Ooh, Channel 6's Jasmine Caldwell went to find out the truth about what's really lurking high really? above the hills in Waco. Be brave. Well, Chris and Leslie, the alleged witch's castle sits on a three acre tract at 3613 Greenwood Drive. The piece of land was once known as Eagle Rock, which is the highest point in all the Cameron Park trail system. Behind these trees, all that's left is a two hole concrete outhouse and a frame of what used to be. The home was built in 1912, but burned down in 1961 and became known as the witch's castle. Well, the story was that the, the witch was a woman whose son died in World War One in a machine gun attack in in uh, France. John Kamenek says he set out to debunk that story, so he did his research and found the son of a man named Elmore Rack, who built the house on this land more than 100 years ago. He used to call this the, the monkey ranch. Mm -hmm. And I said, why'd you call it that? And he said, well, because we used to just go there to monkey around. Kamenek says Rack was an avid rock collector, and the castle-like gate at the main entrance may be the reason why some thought a witch once lived here. Everywhere gets that, that reputation. You know, there's always some old house, there's some old lady, or there's something that there's a witch somewhere. Until 1961, when it burned down, we would have been inside the house right here. Trent Dotery is the chair of the trail building committee for the Waco Bicycle Club. He says in his opinion, the big thing that made this house become a mystery is because it was simply abandoned. It was the emptiness. You've got this, you got this burned out shell of a house high up on a hill, right? That just screams, you know, Woo, you know. Dotary says something that was right naturally there, seen as spooky right and scary is now the most popular area in Cameron Park Trail area. Because it's no longer an abandoned place for, you know, spooky things like that. Now it's a place for recreation. Dotary says in 2014, Waco businessman Todd Beringer acquired the land and set out on a mission to transform it into a bicyclist paradise. But you know, you've seen here today as we have cyclists going all around us, um, we've just absolutely replaced people coming here for drugs and prostitution with people coming out here to recreate. Dotary says he visits the property and frequently and has never seen a witch. The only thing that haunts these woods are all these cyclists having a great time. And as far as Kamenak, he says his message to park goers is that this is a place that's not to be feared. There's, there's a lot of history to everything. And I'd like them to make sure they don't um, misuse it. There's still a small mystery that remains. Kamenek said he was told that there was an unmarked cemetery on the property. He said he's working to find out who the people are and where their grave sites are located. Chris and Leslie.